Hi guys, I am back today to do some warm up exercises with you and so we're going to do them in this uh, let's see, Jane Davenport sketchbook from Michaels. So I have a whole video on these beginners watercolour exercises and sort of mixing those palettes there and um, how to make washes and things like that. So I'll try and link that below. But today I just wanted to do sort of some warm up exercises and these will come in handy for a couple of the upcoming tutorials and one of them is the transparent watercolours, sorry the transparent florals. So we will talk about that a bit more but what I'm doing here is just, I know that the hardest thing to do is just to make that first mark and sort of try and um, get over that fear of the... Um, you know the watercolors so or the art form or whatever so um, what I've done here is just put some what some water on my brush picked up a little bit of pigment and just put that on the paper and then grabbed some more water and tried to sort of drag that out into a, a lighter wash and so that's just a really good way that you can um, you know start to learn about your colors or how the water you know the watercolor performs on the paper and then underneath that I just basically did a box of water so I didn't fully wash out my brush and also so that you can see the water there and what I'm doing and I just uh, now I'm just going back and picking up pigments and just dropping them into the water and kind of seeing how everything blends on the page it is one of the most fun exercises to do and it actually teaches you a lot about the watercolor how it blends um, and it's just really simple you, you you know you get a really nice effect and you learn a lot about the different colors just by putting water on the page just in a square and then just dropping different colors into that square and that's one of the first exercises I actually did uh, when I was learning watercolor and yeah I just I can't recommend it enough you could have a whole page of these squares with all different colors in them um, or obviously you know you could do different shapes and so here I'm doing just some circles and we're going to do a few different colored circles uh, just to swatch out different colors and then we're going to let these dry and then we're going to overlap some other circles over them and this is just a really good warm up for the transparent florals that we're going to do. So I really love doing the transparent florals. I really love watercolor and the fact that you have a medium here that is basically full of light. So instead of, you know, usually with acrylic paint, you're going from darkest. So you put your darkest color down and then you layer lighter colors on top of it. But what we're doing here is we put our lightest color down and then we have to build in the shadows. Um, and I just think it's it's really a special thing to have a medium where you it's filled with it's tra like it's translucent and it's luminous and um, it's a really kind of nice and special thing. And so, but it does take sort of thinking about it a little bit differently. You're almost thinking about it backwards, um, the way you would have done other art. So these are exercises that are just helpful to start to begin to be familiar with watercolors. And so here you can see I'm just uh, doing some rectangles and then dropping some other colors in. And again, um, you can see like in my French ochre video where I did the little triad um, triangle and how you can kind of blend things together so we might do a couple of these videos with just some warm-up exercises because I've, I've really loved your comments and everyone's been really lovely and also um, you know I did not like I still feel like I have a long way to go I just don't get to practice that much and I when I actually was in year 12 I signed up for art and then basically the teacher gave us five minutes and said you know you have three major works to do throughout the year there's gouache at the front of the class good luck and then she sat down and I was just like I am not Leonardo I cannot produce one major work let alone three and I and I dropped the class but um so you know it's taken a long time so do not feel bad if you uh 
you know, aren't sure how to start somewhere because I sort of only started watercolors a couple of years ago and I picked them up and I put them down and I just, I wasn't sure what I was doing. So I just went back to basics, things like this, and just started building um, a little bit of knowledge on, you know, what a watercolor can do for you and what kind of works, um, you know, what you can actually achieve with this um, and how and what kind of things like for example I, I've seen beautiful water you know paintings of water and the movement and um, basically what I'm trying to say is there are things that are really suited for this medium and that will help enhance it and you can enhance the subject because of like the luminous quality and the transparent or translucent quality of these materials. And one of the ways um, to best learn, you know, how to use them is just to start to become familiar with them. Just putting water on the paper and letting the, the pigment swirl around in the water. Um, something that I will say is that if you're using student grade watercolors, uh, they may not move on the paper as well so um, you know it, it it is worth getting some sort of artist grade but I, I did start with the metallic artist loft you know four dollar set from Michaels and I think we got a Windsor and Newton student set from Michaels with the coupon as well so it ended up being like twelve dollars fifty and it is a really good set as well so I'll see if I can link those uh, below uh, and I you know I do recommend them because that's where I started in it and it was um, a good place to start but I also have a couple of other ideas for some uh, watercolors that are on sale at the minute so as soon as I can get that video up I will and I think that you will be really happy I might even try and link some of that below so I'm just doing a little flower here just Again, just start playing with the paint and kind of very simple shapes and simple concepts and just try and build up those layers with the paint. Um, but what was I talking about? The So the links that I'm going to put below are for Jerry's Artorama, which is kind of a local store to me. And um, you can get that they're, they're putting... So I don't have any of the Lucas paints, but I did buy a couple of the Turner paints and I will do... Like I said, as soon as I can, I'll do a video on the colors that I got. Um, but I really recommend the metallic watercolors that they have on sale at the minute. Um, they're really, really nice and they are comparable to the Daniel Smith ones. At full price, they're actually more expensive than Daniel Smith, but I think they're really good um, value for the way they're priced at the minute and so if you're looking to get any of those i think they would be a really nice buy and then also the lucas ones they have half pans there that are on sale at the minute they are artist grade so if you were looking for just a few um pal uh you know half pans there to create a little palette or just the start of a palette um that would also be a good place to start so they have some really nice colors there as well and i would be happy to like you know recommend you what I think would be nice but I haven't actually used the Lucas but I have heard good things about them so I'm happy to kind of put those links there or you can just look it up if I haven't linked it yet just go into Jerry's Artorama and look up Lucas um, Artist Watercolors or Turner Artist Watercolors um, actually let me just tell you the colors that I got from Turner I think are pearl red um, pale wisteria and the grey gold and interference copper I think so um, those are the ones that I got and they're a really good price at the minute so and they're act and they're really comparable to the Daniel Smiths I would say though that I think um, and also so what I just did there I just I was off on a tangent and I wasn't looking at the screen but also um, I do have a video and I will try and link it about those how you do those continuous spectrum swatching as well um, and they're really fun to do 
But anyway, I think the video is over. I went off in a bit of a tangent. Sorry. I will see you guys soon. Bye. And also, thank you so much for the lovely comments. I've really enjoyed reading them. Um, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.